हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर टाइप ऑफ एट्रीब्यूट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इनहेरिटेड एट्रीब्यूट वेलकम अगेन एंड Uh, the this the next topic is uh, inherited attribute so why it is important and uh, what is the significance we have already seen uh, this uh, attribute that is called synthesized attribute okay so synthesized attribute we have already seen okay and what is that attribute attribute value synthesized attribute value is a special category of the value where attribute value at a node Okay, at a node calculated from attribute value at its children. Okay. Now. coming back to this uh, inherited attribute uh, an inherited attribute is one whose value at a node in a parse tree is defined in terms of attribute value at parent or sibling of the node okay so now from the children and the statement is clearly you know saying something very uh, different and that says that inherited attribute that either from where it will take the value either from it will take from parent okay it will take the value from parent or it will take the value from siblings okay so that value it is calling it as a inherited attribute uh, now uh, here uh, okay now let me complete the statement inherited attributes are convenient for expressing the dependence of the programming language construct in context uh, on the context in which it appear okay so on the context in which appear okay so that is a complete statement but uh, the take away main take away is a uh, parent or sibling okay so now here uh, this is the production rule and this is the semantic rule and this semantic rule you will observe here that this semantic rules are basically the semantic rules uh, which is not as usual what we ever we have done so this is the grammar that uh, that that derives a sentence uh, like this okay int a comma b comma c okay now this is the sentence that it will derive and <clears throat> uh, this is nothing but a declaration of a variable of type in teaser or real okay so that is nothing but declaration declaration of variable integer or real okay now but obvious that if i ask you what is the type of abc okay so what the type of abc and this is one of our uh, semantic analysis uh, problem that how to address this particular problem and uh, that, that is basically that abc is of integer data type okay abc is of integer data type okay so now this this answer or this value propagation will be done and how it will be done okay so let's parse this int a and b only okay so now let's have a this parse to d derive t l and t derive let's say int l derive l comma identifier and l to id identifier now if you look at here t dot type huh? t dot type is uh, here in this case is this is the this is the i cannot say l dot in is equal to t dot type because what is t dot type i can't say here so here the first propagation will be in this direction and from here to here and this will be t dot type t dot type will be equal to what this type will become in teaser then uh, this there is a dependency among this this value will flow from here to here and here l dot in l dot in is equal to t dot type and that type is nothing but integer so that will become integer 
Now L and L1 just concentrate on this L is on the left hand side L1 is on the right hand side and here now this value will be propagated in this way. This is L and this is your L1. So now see here L1 dot in uh, this value L1 dot in is equal to L dot in. Okay. So L1 dot in at this place L1 dot in will also become L dot in and that is nothing but integer. Achha, what is for this ID? ID it is calling a function. Do not get confused with this add type. Add type with this ID as a parameter. And the second parameter is L dot in. Nothing but add type. This will insert this uh, this information information into symbol table. Okay, so this will update update what it will update. It will update the symbol table or data structure. Finally, L two ID. So L two ID is also again this uh, will be again it is calling add type add type. To id dot entry, okay, id dot entry where whatever the entry in the symbol table and l dot, okay. So now this is a totally different, uh, under, uh, totally different kind of attribute where if you look at the value flow here, the value is flowing from here to here, means uh, from children to parent, uh, then it is flowing in between siblings and then parent to children, okay, and then again parent to children. So totally different. Um, Sometimes uh, students find this example confusing, but we don't have a, a like very trivial uh, inherited attribute uh, example. Uh, we do always consider this. This is uh, this is this example. And this is one of the very typical example where inherited attributes is used. Okay. So main takeaway is your uh, from parent or sibling, and uh, here the value is calculated only if this part is calculated from the like type is a attribute I can say which is a synthesized, but the rest of the attributes are flown in uh, from either uh, sibling or parent. Okay. Uh, sibling, uh, yes, sibling or parent. So that's all for this discussion of inherited attribute. Thank you.